Hey, my name is Kavi, and we're looking at the soul of Chagokin GX103 MFS3 Type 3 Multi Purpose Fighting System. Kill you! I kill you. <laughs> also known as Mecha Godzilla from the movie Godzilla Against Mecha Godzilla and Tokyo SOS, which I've actually seen, unlike that bitch from 50 years ago. Also, this might be the actual best Mecha Godzilla figure ever. I love the Soul of Chagokin line, and when I heard that they were making a figure of my favorite Mecha Godzilla design, what can I tell you? Clean up eye on my pet. Oh my word, it tickles me pink to see a Bandai Godzilla figure that's this big. But it had better justify its price. You thought SH Monster Arts was bad? Welcome to the world of Goken. This design just lends itself to fun action figures. But is it any fun? Well, the only way we're gonna find out is to play with it. So let's open up these instructions to see what all of this stuff does. Features amazing behind the scenes material for the film and a whole goddamn novel, which I assume is about the making of the movie or even the figure or both. And finally, the instructions themselves. Some assembly is required. Looks complicated. So you wanna grab that little ring there that goes in here and the arm should fit right into there. Oh! The painting and the sculpting on this figure is amazing. Perfect recreation of his design in the film. Love how sleek this looks. The mechanical details are precise. The paint job is perfect. Maybe some people would prefer a little more shading, but the clean metallic finish is enough for me. Shiny thing good. Unlike a lot of SH Monster Arts figures, there's no small detail here that I can point to that looks sloppy. Hell, even the entry hatches are really well painted and super tiny too, which explains why they don't open zero out of 10. And yes, in the movie, a pretty lady does get inside Mechagodzilla. So if you're into that sort of thing, panel lining is excellent as well. And some panels are even functional. I recommend pushing in this part here to lift that up a little bit so you can reach in there with this included tool that flips up to reveal some thrusters or boosta, as the box calls it. I can read Kaka. Even the inside of the mouth, which I'm weirdly obsessed with, looks fantastic. And I love the subtle difference of finish on the teeth. It's got more of an organic organic finish compared to the metallic finish everywhere else, which makes sense for the lore. Kiryu here is built around the bones of the original Gojira. Such a cool idea, but a really bad idea from the characters, you dummies. What did you think was going to happen? Much like the SH Monster Arts version, you can recreate the scene where he remembers his former life. And if that wasn't cool enough, there is a light up feature, which in order to access, we got to remove his head, remove that little battery strip. And yes, batteries are included. Yeah. And you simply flip the switch. Oh! So cool. I feel like I've got to say this all the time. Figures don't need a light up feature to be cool, but, um,. Can we get light-up features for every figure, please? And this is just two LR41 batteries, by the way. If you wanted to replace them, there is a screw cap there. In addition to the red and yellow eyes, you get these eyes with the vertical line effect. I forget the context for these. But the eyes are not the only accessories you get here. Far from it. Which reminds me that Kiryu's looking kind of naked right now. That's because he doesn't have his backpack and maser guns equipped. I meant rail guns. Sorry about that. First of all, you got to remove this trifecta of spines. Remove this Remove this part from the backpack. This thing will come into play later. And that should just plug into the back here. Watch the spines. As for the guns, you remove this little cover here and those will come into play later. You get these tubes, actually bendy wires, that you plug into the elbow, but not before removing this little cap here. Plug the gun into the arm and plug the tube into the gun. And the spines and the tiny elbow caps that we remove don't go anywhere. You can't even store them on the base. God damn it. We'll talk about the base later, of course. And this is how Kiryu looks for the majority majority of the film and oh there's only so many ways i could say that this looks awesome and on the topic of those guns we can't forget that in the climax of the movie kiryu or should i say akane deploys something called the maser blade kind of wish that it actually slid out though and since we're talking about his weapons how could i not mention his biggest baddest final move the absolute zero cannon looks great as is but it gets better all we gotta do is pull this whole chunk here and pull off this battery tab. See where I'm going with this. There's an on switch right there. And let's plug this back in for full effect. This piece right here is a hidden button. <gasps> The yellow light represents the super maser, and the blue is the proper absolute zero cannon. While this does look 
freaking awesome. I wish it stayed on. I understand the need to conserve batteries, but come on. I bought the figure. It's my toy. Why can't I just have it on all the time? I'll waste batteries if I want. Unless there is a way to get the lights to stay on. Leave a comment if you're just as broke as me. Links in the description, by the way. Good luck. And this is just three LR41 batteries included. But if you want to replace them, there is a screw cap there. And while this guy can stand up really well on his own, doesn't even need his tail to support him. You do get a stand. Some assembly required. This goes here. This plugs into here, which then plugs into here. Yeah. Oh. The figure doesn't plug in. Rather, it's just the cradle. It'll just gently cup it? Not really. This part barely makes contact with the Kiryu, so honestly, this particular part, pretty useless, but the base itself looks really nice. It's actually a replica of how his docking bay looks in the movie. You could even unplug these big parts and position them a little lower to recreate how it looks when he undocks. But these parts also act as a form of weapon storage. Those little caps that you saw in the guns before allow you to plug it into the ports on the side. Even the cap for the backpack allows you to store it on the side as well. But when it comes to the backpack and the stand, this is the most boring thing you could do with it. A cooler display is to bring in this included stand arm, plug that into one of these three holes, and the cap that's on the backpack allows you to plug it in to recreate the part where the backpack actually launches towards Godzilla. But I don't know, I gotta be a bit dandy about it. When that happens in the movie, the backpack is battle damaged. Both of these cannons are missing. Not complaining about the lack of battle damaged backpack parts, I mean, you get so much already. It just feels a little arbitrary since you do get other battle damage parts. And that's a good excuse to play the music. This is the whole reason why the arm was detached out of the box. Out of the box? Out of the box? Plug in the battle damaged arm. And look at that, it's still poseable. Replace the chest with the beautiful battle damaged one. This one doesn't light up unfortunately, but that's movie accurate. Actually before we do that, you're supposed to slide this shoulder part out to replace it with this other one, which has a little speck on it. Put respect on that spec's name. That's the main character of Godzilla against Mechagodzilla, Akane Yashiro, who's got a pretty good character arc in the movie. In the opening scene, she fails to take out Godzilla when she has the chance, costing the lives of her comrades, and she struggles with a sense of hopelessness and survivor's guilt throughout the movie, and why does that sound familiar? Minus one would have been better if Shikishima jumped into a Gundam. Well, anyway, now you have how this thing looks at the end of the movie. Watching Godzilla walk off into the sunset with Akane's character arc complete, and that that's gonna complete the coverage of the accessories. As you can tell, quite a lot of them. But it doesn't feel overwhelming. None of the accessories feel unnecessary. Soul of Chogokin in general is more focused on accessories and gimmicks than anything else. But what Soul of Chogokin consistently falls behind on is posability. This will be quick. Ball joint at the head. Every ball joint can be a swivel. Pretty limited here. And a ball joint at each segment of the neck, which allows them to look up that far. Oh, there's actually a hinge joint there too. Up that far, which is not a lot at all and down that far. Neck articulation is pretty good, all things considered. Opening mouth, rotation at the arms. Love me some ratchet joints. Bicep swivel, bend at the elbow, swivel at the wrist, and a hinge joint at the wrist. A virtually imperceivable chest crunch, and the barely there waist swivel. Hip rotation, can move back that far. A slightly lower than average spread. Bend at the knee, love the ratchet joint, but don't like that useless range. Knee pad hinge joint, even with the limited articulation, we still get a calf swivel. Gonna run out of calf clips at this point. Hinge join at the ankle guard and the feet can move up really far, which clears the way for a decent pivot. That swivel here. Feels cold, by the way. Uh. Forgot to mention that Soul of Chikokin is known for their metal and heft. Articulation standout has got to be the tail. This isn't even SH Monster Arts, but it's essentially an SH Monster Arts level tail. 16 segments here. Beautiful, natural, curvy poses. What this guy lacks in posability, he more than makes up for in sheer presence. No matter what type of clunky action pose you get this guy into, he will look damn fine doing it. And it's hard to really complain when this guy is so big. Why can't all Bandai Godzilla figures be this size? Comparison. Hey, here's Figma Madok Akaname, Haya Toys Godzilla, Magic Square Light of Peace, my previous review, the SH Monster Arts Minus One Godzilla, and a couple of SH Monster Arts Mecha Godzillas. Just to give you an idea of how big Godzilla figures can be. But actually, every Godzilla figure should be this big, but might be asking for too much. I mean, come on, Bandai. You made a Soul of Chogokin scale Kiryu. We've gotta have a 2002 Godzilla to go with him, and maybe even a Mothra. But until then, this looks like a one-sided battle. I would highly recommend this guy for fans of the Kiryu Saga.
Really the only true mark against this guy. What the frick? I'm already saving up for all the inevitable Evangelion recolors. And by saving up, I mean I'm gonna be turning so many tricks. I want to give a big thanks to all my members and patrons. Deluxe class members and double kiss patrons should be scrolling right now. And for my top tier members and patrons, here's all your shout outs. Starting with my leader class members. Ayrton Chitwood, Daniel Morris, Neon Reddit, a person named June, Kieran Herlihy, Joseph Leroy, Mr. Porsche, Scarlet Scout 259, Dan, Nathalia, Kag Naros, Anime Gods of Gaming, Jacobus 21, Mothman, Astro B05, Seven, Cam After Dark, Squardzilla, Cole Taku, John, Breakaway TA, Luxana, Jonas RT, Common Rider KFP, and Zelda Gamer LD401. And for my triple kiss patrons, Austin Sabatino, Flowing Games 101, Tiger Boy, Z Naki Shark Z, Smithy Killer, Morris Voices, Gorgongus, Josh and Samuels Elevators, Cam After Dark, Kieran Herlihy, Dim Sum Garbage, Genius Jedi, Proxy Fox, Lux. Santa, Need More Time 11, don't we all? That Meth Addict, Sausage Fiesta, Scarlet Scout, Artist 101, Harry McStrange, Alex Hewitt, Josh Montemayor, Nathalia Munoz, Cruz Sissy the, Ken Rodman, Chris Jen, Jawan, Striker 374, Ming Yi Caesar, Mr. Jenkins, Weed Horse Theo, and Michael McLaughlin. Thank you once again for your financial support, but if your name wasn't up here, don't feel too bad. The fact that you're watching and leaving a like, comment, and subscribing to the channel is all the support I really need. I'll see you next week on the fail box. Use my hashtag. Here's to a new year of new reviews and empty bank accounts.